Hey Aubrey, I did watch the video for Iron and I thought it was great. Uh, it was really artistic and I loved it and of course I love the song. I actually heard it for the first time a couple years ago when I was watching an Assassin's Creed trailer and uh, you're probably going to kill me for saying this but I actually think that the Assassin's Creed trailer is a better music video for that song than the actual music video is. The music video is like in really high quality and it's great but the choreography in the Assassin's Creed trailer is amazing. It's so good. It's probably the best Assassin's Creed trailer I've ever seen and one of the best uh, game trailers I've ever seen, period. I mean, that's even up against like the Skyrim live action trailers. Also, Tobuscus did a literal trailer for that where he parodied that song and it was really good. It was really funny and I'd encourage you to check it out. I'll probably put a link to it uh, in the description. So today at work, <laughs> Mary and I were hanging out in our office and she was putting up some sticky uh, snowflake things on the window outside of our office and I guess some people got mad that she did that because it's still fall, it's not winter yet. So anyway, two of the people who work in my office came over and attacked the window with a whole bunch of fall decorations and Thanksgiving decorations and so Mary and I got mad and retaliated by decorating our whole office with Christmas stuff. It is ridiculous and I'll send you a picture of the window which is so clashing with turkey and Santa, it's ridiculous. Uh, I posted a picture of it on Tumblr but I'll put it in this video too, hold on. Ridiculous, right? I think it's hilarious. I put a uh, a turkey dressed as Santa on the window that says coexist and uh, some people liked it. As far as getting a tattoo is concerned, I've actually thought about getting one for a long time, but only if I get down to my target weight of like 195 pounds. I want to be under 200, but I realize if I get down to like 180, I'm going to start looking a little bit malnourished because my body shape is just that, that I can, I can carry a lot of muscle. So my plan is if I get down to under 200 pounds, I will get a tattoo and it's going to be an Assassin's Creed tattoo. I'll see if I can find the picture of the sketch that someone did uh, of exactly what I want. Uh, basically, it's the Assassin's Creed symbol with wings coming out the side uh, in black and white and I get it on my back, uh, but, but spans my shoulders. Izzy's making dinner right now and it smells so good. It's like spiced ham and yes. Izzy and I move into our new apartment on December 5th and there's going to be a lot of moving to do, so if you do want to come up and help out, I would love that. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, probably just going to load the truck up and take 10 loads over there and hope, hope that it works out for the best. But when that rolls around, uh, I'll shoot you a video and maybe you can come up on the weekend. So I had my last Sunday class for two weeks yesterday and it went really well. I'm really happy with it, uh, but I didn't realize that I'm doing this diet where I can't eat any dairy and starch, as you know, and so I'm sitting there and I haven't had dinner and it's seven o'clock and uh, I was really hungry. So my options were like chips, cookies, breaded chicken, or gogurt. And I was like, dude, I'm told you to eat the gogurt because that doesn't violate my diet. And then I came home and told Izzy and she's like, Alex, gogurt is yogurt. Yeah? She's like, yogurt is dairy. Yeah, but uh, gogurt, gogurt doesn't have any dairy in it, right? It's just disgusting byproducts and weirdness? No. Gogurt has dairy in it, and I violated my diet. And I ate two of them. So I broke my streak. Oh well. That's what's up. I guess really the point of the diet isn't to cut it out 100%, but to get me down to uh, only eating like 1% of that stuff or even 5% of that stuff in my daily diet because I used to be subsisting on it just 100% just starch and dairy. It's like bread and cheese, that was all I would eat. I find it funny that your apartment is going to be bigger than Izzy and I's apartment. That just makes me laugh. <laughs> 
I'm going to film the video of me putting all my clothes on tomorrow and we'll post that with my Wednesday video and we can close out this video with me showing you clips from the concert that Izzy and I went to, The Head and the Heart. Uh, the opener was a band called uh, Quiet Life, which is, they were really good. I think that I'm going to listen to them on Spotify and uh, I might, I don't know, I, I think I could consider myself a fan of their type of music uh, and I'm going to check them out. So here, here's a clip of The Quiet Life. Then the Eastern Sea uh, also opened for the Head and the Heart. They did like seven songs, and I think that you've mentioned them to me before, either in a video or in an email or on Spotify. I was into some of it, but some of it I was just kind of spaced out, not paying attention. Here's a clip of what they played. Hey, we're the Eastern Sea, we're from Austin, Texas. Thanks for having us. And then, of course, The Head and the Heart came out, and they were amazing. I absolutely loved it. Izzy and I had a great time, and uh, really, it was just awesome. Izzy and I had never gone to a concert together before, so it was a lot of fun. But I don't know that I'll do that again anytime soon. Just a lot of standing and annoying people nearby in my vicinity that I want to punch them, but I'm not allowed to because of society. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you're having a great start to your week, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully with knots. And when you do the knots video, I'll give you another challenge. Okay, bye.